peace. Oh, please. It's obvious. How do you astral project? This is the main way that I astral project. And I'll usually do it in the morning around six hours after I've fallen asleep. Or I will do this in the afternoon when I'm pretty tired. The main method is the wake back to bed method. I've had a handful of astral projections now and a few which have been really vivid and realistic. And this is how I did it. So it's the wake back to bed method. Basically, I wake up around six hours after I've fallen asleep and then I'll get up and I'll go to the bathroom. You know, you got to keep your mind awake, aware, then you will basically do some meditation. But for how long you should keep yourself awake and aware before attempting meditation after you've slept for about six hours, even less maybe. People will usually keep themselves awake and aware for about 20 to 30 minutes. And during this period of time, you should not be going on your phone because the blue light will wake you up. So you don't want to do that. What I do is I don't even wait 20 to 30 minutes because if, if I wait that long, then my mind is just too awake and I can barely, you know, fall asleep or reach a borderline sleep state. And that is basically the key and I'll get into that a little bit more later on. After I've kept myself a little awake and aware by, you know, going to the bathroom, uh, just, you know, walking around my room for a little bit. I will do that for about five minutes or even less, even less maybe. And I will lay down and I will start focusing on my breathing, meditating. But a great thing you can do if you feel like you're even a little too awake, breathe in for about four to five seconds, breathe out for about four to five seconds, breathe in for about four to five seconds and breathe out for four to five seconds and continue just doing this over and over and over again for as long as maybe around 20 minutes, even less, 30 minutes. It's not very specific how I do this. I'll just do it for as long as I need to. What this breathing is doing is it's triggering your parasympathetic nervous system. So it's helping you become more relaxed and getting you into a better state of mind, reaching the theta brain wave state. After you've done this kind of breathing, breathing in for four to five seconds or breathing out for four to five seconds, you can just meditate normally. You can just focus on your breath as you breathe in and breathe out normally. And don't try to force it too much. You wanna, as you start to get even more relaxed state, you, you don't wanna force your breathing too much. You just want to naturally breathe and just focus, keep your awareness on your breath. If you, if you choose to not focus on your breathing, that's okay. You can also just focus on the darkness behind your eyes, or you could focus on the little pitch that we all hear in our ears. You can focus on that as well. If you rather do, if you rather do that, the key is basically to just stay aware during this whole process where your body is getting super relaxed. The main point here is to get to the borderline sleep state. This is the key if you're trying to astral project. It might even help you at points to just not even focus on your breathing, but for moments to just even just not think about anything at all. I think that's helped me, but it's also led to many times where I just fall asleep. So you want to be careful. The, the main thing is really just holding your awareness while you're basically about to fall asleep so that your body can basically shut off and it will start to feel you know super heavy super heavy and even maybe a little bit tingly and these this is a good sign that you're getting closer to astral projection the more you can keep your awareness in this borderline sleep state the more likely you will be able to astral project and once you reach this borderline sleep state as close as you can get while maintaining your awareness you will eventually start you might eventually start to feel this crazy rushing feeling throughout the whole body where the energy is just rising all throughout your body a sensation that you probably have never even felt before you might even start to hear a loud rumbling sound I've heard that too but I don't always hear that loud rumbling sound but there's also you might hear a loud high-pitched noise as well but that's basically it like this is what you need to do and the more you meditate the better this is gonna be for you because you're gonna learn to be able to filter your thoughts and to let thoughts pass and this is so critical this is so so critical to astral project because you cannot have thoughts just intruding this whole process or it's gonna ruin everything 
you're gonna become too awake and you're gonna lose your focus and awareness. You have to maintain a very, very precise focus during this whole process. A very precise focus and nothing else. And the more you do it, the easier it will be and you will not have very much intrusive thoughts and even if you do get some random thoughts here and there, they will go away with ease. So meditation is super important for learning how to astral project. If you don't even meditate, I would suggest just do that first. Meditate every single day, about 15 minutes even, that's okay. And you'll get better and better. The more you meditate, absolutely is gonna be better for you. So if you wanna, if you have time to meditate for an hour, then that's great, do that. And the more you do it, it'll become easier and astral projection will be right there waiting for you but you also let me not forget to mention you have to let go of all your fears associated with astral projection I've never heard of a, a single case where someone was not able to return back to the body you know in my astral projection and I, I, I was a little fearful that I was not able to return to my body but you know I did right I'm right here I'm making this video so I've never had I've never heard of a situation where someone was stuck in the astral realms. I've never heard of anyone ever getting possessed by a demon or anything like that. So don't be afraid. Let your fears go because what is going to happen is you can reach all kinds of different states if you're in a bad mental place, if you're in a depressed mind state. Don't do it because what you may see when you project is your surroundings might be darker, you know? But many times if you're astral projection, it'll automatically, might be, it might be dark and hard to see, and that's okay because you're just not acclimated to astral projecting, and that's what it was like for me. I wasn't able to see, but the more I was, I was just telling myself, you know, I can see, I can see clearly, I can see clearly, I can see clearly. I kept telling myself that, and all of a sudden I could see everything, and it was very vivid, very, very realistic. So if, if it seems a little grainy and hard to see, then keep telling yourself, I can see, I can see, I can see clearly, I can see clearly. And then you will be able to see clearly because your beliefs are what are driving this force. Also, if you're starting to get the feelings, of the rushing sensation throughout your body as you're about to astral project, if you get too excited, this can terminate your astral projection as well. You can't be too excited. And you, if you feel too fearful even, then it's gonna cease. So you have to let everything go when you're going to astral project. Try to maintain as neutral of a mind state as you can and a very focused mind state on just your breath and or whatever you choose to focus on and then you will be able to astral project. So this is how you astral project. Don't be afraid. I've heard many times also if you're meditating in your astral projection, it can also help you ascend to higher dimensions of consciousness, higher dimensions of the astral realms. So if you're gonna if you're gonna astral project, try meditating and let me know if that works for you. I'm gonna do that in my next astral projection as well and I'll let you know how that goes. But really you should be excited. You should be really excited and but really, you should be excited, really excited to astral project, and that's gonna really help it become, it's gonna really help you get an astral projection. But don't be too excited while you're meditating. You know, you don't wanna be too excited while you're meditating. So the main thing is, you can do the wake back to bed method, where you wake up around five to six hours after you've fallen asleep. I usually do six hours after I've fallen asleep. And then keep yourself a little awake, alert for about five minutes. And then meditate just completely just focus on your breath you can do the five second breathing in five second breathing out to help calm your nerves and trigger the parasympathetic nervous system to relax your body and then yeah just focus on your breath try not to focus too hard if that makes sense reach the borderline sleep state because this is absolutely critical for you to astral project and you can also do this just during the afternoon because our bodies our circadian sleep cycle we get tired from around 2 to 4 p.m. So you could do it around that time as well when you're kind of tired but still awake. If you're doing it in the afternoon, you're going to do the same exact thing that you would have done for the wake back to bed method. All you do is just you just meditate, reach the borderline sleep state, 
stay away during the borderline sleep state, and then you should be able to astral project. If you have astral projected before, let me know if this is how you do it, and if there's some other technique that you do, comment please. I would love to know how you do it. Once you do start feeling these rushing sensations, then you will try to reach out your astral body, your astral arm out of your body, and if you succeed, you might start to flow upwards, and then you can just roll out of your body, and that is how you astral project. If you wanna hear about my astral projection experiences, subscribe and hit the bell notification because I'm always posting new videos. Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.